hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been a while since I made anything, uh, I think, uh, savory. I've been working on some desserts, but I found a recipe called stuffed cheeseburger rolls. And we wanted, it was either this stuffed cheeseburger rolls or uh, quesadilla cheeseburgers. So I'm going to try both, but not today. But I'm going to try the, the uh, stuffed cheeseburger rolls. And the recipe calls for frozen dough. And I'm going to try to make my own dough, which I'll leave a link to my bread dough in the, uh, I'll leave a link to those rolls I made not too long ago in the uh, in the description box, I guess you call it. I'm so sorry. And uh, anyway, I've never made this before. I'm going to season it like I do. And we're going to caramelize some onions and uh, we'll just try to make some stuffed cheeseburger rolls. Hopefully it turns out well. And I hope you enjoy this video. Make cheeseburgers I'll, uh, when I ran a little cafe where I'm from. But uh, we always use uh, caramelized onions, and I have half of a yellow onion and half of a, a purple onion or red onion. But I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil. I'm using this nonstick pan. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of butter. You could also cook some bacon and saute your onions in that. That I didn't just sometimes I don't want to cook bacon in the house because sorry uh, the smell. I just don't like the smell. So, I'm going to put this on a pretty high heat. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to the onions. And I chopped a lot of garlic. So, I'm going to add my onion. And you'll want to keep an eye on these. You can even add a pinch of sugar if you want to, too. Sometimes that makes it go a little, go a little faster. We may have to drain off some of this butter and stuff. But we're going to do that, and I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. I have, look how much I've chopped today. Just a little bit. I don't want, I don't want it to be too strong because I'm going to add a little bit to the meat as well. That's probably about uh, one clove. And let's see, I have my spatula I'm going to stir it with. I'm going to add a little salt. And I like to mix my pink salt with my kosher salt. Just a little bit of salt. I don't want to add too much salt because I'm going to add salt to the meat as well. I don't know how this is going to come out. I'm, I made, I'm making my own dough. Uh, there's several things you could do. You could make a cheeseburger, a hot pocket. You could make, but you kind of want it open because you, if you want lettuce and uh, onions or tomatoes, I don't know. I'm just going to figure it out as I go along, and I'll give you the best directions I can. I'm gonna start this and now we're gonna go ahead and mix our meat and season it. Let me get that ready. I'm gonna turn the fire on high and I have an 85-15 meat. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave these this uh, open or if I'm gonna just stuff them and close the, the dough. I'm gonna use this, this meat and uh, I really like this meat and you can you know you could put mushrooms in here uh, jalapenos whatever you want there's so many variations you can make it vegetarian and uh, let me rinse my hand I have too many things going at once sometimes so we're gonna, we're gonna break this up with a spoon. It's my favorite one. And I have it on the, the hot burner. Now you can also try to make this uh, one big patty. I was thinking about doing that. But for this, this is our first time making it, we're just gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna add some seasoning to this. I'm gonna add some salt. And I love mushrooms. I would definitely add mushrooms if I could, but I'm the only one that likes them. I have some dehydrated too. I just keep forgetting about them. Let me stir my onions. These are going to be nice and sweet. Now these take a little while. But you don't want them to burn, so you kind of got to keep your eye on them. And then I'm going to add a little onion, onion powder. I'm almost out of onion powder. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. Some garlic powder. I'm going to use garlic powder instead of the fresh garlic. 
for the patties. And have the other garlic for... And I always like to add just a dash of this. I just love the flavor. You don't need much. Probably about a teaspoon. Like that. Or a tablespoon. Depending if you don't like it, you can leave it out. I'm just going to cook this. I'm going to... I haven't decided what kind of cheese. I think I'm going to use like two different kinds of cheese. So let me get this cooked up and then we'll go to the next step. Okay. Tip. Now, I probably made a mistake. When I put that garlic with the onions, I should have waited until the onions were almost cooked. Now I have to really be careful not to burn the, the uh, garlic. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that so you don't make the same mistake I did. I'll show you the onions. That's a brown nut. They smell so good. And like I said, I didn't put too much garlic. I didn't want to uh, have garlic take over. And I didn't burn it, but like I said, I had it later next time. I've already made a big mess. I'm going to put these in another bowl, let them cool off a little bit. And uh, my meat's about halfway there. And my dough is actually outside because it's uh, kind of warm here. So I'll put it outside to see. And I covered it well. Don't worry about bugs and stuff. And see how well it rises outside. And uh, anyway, I haven't made a video in a while, so I was just uh, like to talk to you guys. But uh, I'll be back. Show you. I put my onions and my my uh, meat in a separate bowl so they'll be ready. And because you don't want them uh, so hot for the for to melt your dough. So I'm waiting on my dough, and I just want to show you my dough. Now I'm not probably going to use the whole recipe. Because uh, we can only eat so much. I'm going to make, you know, I'm probably going to use one of these circles as a guide. But it's been rising for about 40 minutes. And it's the perfect temperature outside. So it's it's fine. And I don't really want it to rise for the second time. Because I don't want it to get too fluffy. But look, see, it's, it's really got, it's got bubbles in it. And it's really soft. So the meat's probably going to bake into it. Now, if I would have made that, I should have made my buttermilk, uh hamburger roll recipe that would have been a good with with this also so i'm going to take this push the air out like i said i, I am just kind of making this up as i go along i'm going to need a little flour because it's a little bit sticky and put a little bit of flour on my i figured out a solution and i taped this thing down i know everybody was <laughs> trying to give me good ideas somebody gave me the idea to tape me i appreciate it and I also appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, I do. And Ella does too. Let's see. I'm gonna, I think I might try to make some Hot Pockets with the rest of this dough. There's so many recipes that I still have to make. I just haven't had time lately. So we're just gonna kinda cut it in half and do this. We'll see what we have. I'm just take it, try to make it round. You don't want to put too much flour, but you don't want it to be sticking all over the place either. This is a nice dough. I add a little uh, butter to this dough. And I'm not very good at rolling out circles. I have my pan ready. I don't know if you guys can see this. I have all my ingredients ready. I like to have all that prepped before I even start. My oven's preheated to 325 convection. Okay. Uh, you know what? I messed up. I need to cut this in half, too. So I'm going to need a little bit more dough. I need a top and a bottom. So, I now I'm going to have to let this rest for a minute because I've overworked it a little bit. So I'll be right the back. the first layer. Like I said, I'm not going to make it humongous, but I have my pan... And that's the best circle I can get. And I've rolled it uh, pretty thin. I'm going to let it rise just a little bit. But I don't want it to be just all bread. I want to be able to have the meat. And bacon would have really been good on this. So I'm going to put this on the pan. Up here. Kind of stretch it back out. Like I said, I'm not very good at rolling out circles. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush it with a little bit of butter. And I'm using salted butter. I, I like to use salted butter. 
Ella, can you bring me the ketchup and mustard? We're gonna layer this with uh, the meat. And you can use as much as you want. Like the, like the possibilities are just endless. This is my first time, so I'm keeping it pretty simple just to see if it comes out. Here you go. And the, yeah, the ketchup. And yeah, they can't see actually. That's okay. My, I, need, I need a bigger kitchen. I'm gonna put the meat. And you want to put the dough on the pan before you do this or you won't be able to lift it up. And if you want to pinch the ends together, just put the meat, I believe about a half inch area around the dough. I might do that. I might pinch it closed. Uh, my other recipe was going to be the cheeseburger quesadilla. And that one's open so you could add the lettuce and stuff. But, uh, let's see. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add some onions. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup and mustard. You could use... We like ketchup and mustard. Just regular mustard. And I'm going to put some of these onions on. I have to spread these out with my hands. This is going to add a lot of flavor. And it's got the garlic in there. And you could put the cheese first too. If you wanted. Okay, now let's take a little bit of the cheese. You can, you can put whatever kind of cheese you like. I'm going to use probably not all of this. I think I'm just going to use American cheese tonight. And press that down. I also had some... I should have put this under the cheese. Here's a little dill pickles and a little bit of jalapeno. We've been really wanting uh, jalapenos lately. They're just, we got a really good jar. They're really nice flavor. Try to spread them out. I know that, have you ever gotten the, I'm a, you know what, I'm gonna pour this little bit of pickle juice on here too. Okay, let's move this over. I'm going to stretch this back out a little. And I might add just a little bit more ketchup and mustard. You don't want it to be too dry. It's going to be so good. Okay. Now we're going to take this piece and try to roll it out into a circle. I need a little flour. Not too much. I like to try to work it with my hands first before I start rolling it. If you kind of keep moving it, you can kind of get a circle going. My oven's nice and hot. Flip it over. This dough is really nice. You could make these uh, Mexican flavored. Like that would be delicious. That's probably what I'm gonna do next. And then these circles are gonna have to try to match up pretty well so I can close it. And I didn't do an egg wash. I'm just gonna brush it with butter and hopefully that will work. I'm trying to get it just right. I hope I'm not taking too much of your time. I appreciate you watching me roll this out and struggling to make a circle. That looks pretty good. We can always stretch it out to make it meet the uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna move this so you can see. I hope you can see that, okay. So we're just gonna take this. We're gonna put a little bit of butter around the edges again. Could use water. My favorite thing to use is egg. Ooh. I didn't want the dough too thick because your meat's already cooked and you don't want it to get extremely dry in the oven. I think I'm gonna close it the best I can. You know, I wish I would've added more cheese now, but it'll be good. I like to mix American with Swiss. I'm just gonna let's stick it together pretty well. I think we need a fork and close it. Here we go. I'm gonna probably have to vent it. And you can let it rise if you wanted to. I might let it rise for about 10 minutes. And if it some comes out, it's okay. It's kind of a trial run. Let's brush the top with some more butter. Yeah, it looks like some of my spots weren't sealed as well as I wanted them to be. Go over it one more time. You know, once you uh, once it's cooked and you do, if, then you do cut it in half. If you could separate it a little bit, you could add more toppings. Let's put some sesame seeds. So I'm gonna let this rest probably for about 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we'll put it in the oven. Then I'll tell you. Well, I'll show you what it looks like before we put it in the I want to put a couple of vents in the top, not a couple, a few. That should do it. Okay, right, I'm gonna put it in the oven. It got a little bit puffy, but I think it might come apart, but it's still gonna taste delicious. So uh, I'll tell you I how long it I just took it out of the oven. It took about 35 minutes, but to test it, I just kind of lift it up for here. It's really hot and just press the dough and I think it's cooked. It's a little moist, but I think it's cooked. We'll see, but it looks good and we will be able to open it up and add some more toppings if we want to. So we're gonna let it cool a little bit and then we'll cut it open and we'll and check it out. what it looks like. We cut it open and uh, it looks really delicious and the bread's just the right thickness. It's not too thick. Like I said, if you want it thicker, you can let it rise longer. Um, but we're gonna put some lettuce on it and eat it like a cheeseburger. You could even, it, and it does come apart. You can see, you can put a little mayo if you want, but uh, I like mustard and ketchup. Or you can dip it in mayo, but we're gonna add some lettuce to it. And then we're gonna do a taste test. We'll be just right back. I'm gonna show you guys the, the other things I made because I had some extra dough. This is just like a, those hot pockets that Ella likes, but it's just, it's just a cheeseburger one. And this one I used pie dough. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm working on my recipe for the perfect pie dough. I think it came out well. So now we're gonna do the taste test. Let me give Ella the camera. Okay, I'm gonna try to attempt to take a bite of this. I like a little extra ketchup and mustard. And we also, you can see the jalapenos and uh, the pickles. And like I said, the possibilities are endless. But I'm gonna tell you the grilled onions made a humongous difference. It added so much flavor. It's really, uh, I think it's just so good. I would suggest making the grilled onion. I, I call them grilled onions. I guess they're not grilled. They're called uh, caramelized onions, sauteed onions. This might be a little messy and embarrassing. Mmm. Mmm. I got a jalapeno with that bite. And I find jalapenos are much hotter once they're cooked. And then when you just eat them out of the jar cold. This is really good. And like I said, I'll link the dough recipe. Or you can just buy the frozen rolls. 
Miss Schubert's, I think it's called, or you can buy the frozen bread loaves and use that. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm sorry I talked so much today. Uh, I hope you give this recipe a try. It's really, it's really something different. I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you had a happy Easter, and thanks for watching. Come back again and see me. Bye.